darn industrialist trying to buy the whole goddamn state, I swear. I hear Nick Johnson more quicker than a dog tied leg. You okay, lady? My husband's missing. <laughs> These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. <laughs> Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. got much money, and I'm in the family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me, and then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> What 
What's wrong with you? <laughs> now you're coming with me. Please, I'll do anything. Let's go. Take me back to that man! He's a damn lunatic! Oh my good lord! Please get that man away from me! Uh, uh. Hey, fella! <laughs> you broke this poor fool's leg, mister! This maniac tried to eat me! We've got cannibals in these here hills! Please help me! What? Please. Fella's gotta eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh, <laughs> save me from this freak, please! Please! <laughs> oh, you gotta get it while it's fresh. <laughs> Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? 
look at me. Look, scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that, then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self-same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Come on, then, partner! How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ah, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you! Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses! They don't care, none! These people have been laid to rest! You don't know nothing! I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream and when we wake up, We'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Uh, have you looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who'll do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now... I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day. Whoa. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. It's 
far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. This is one god awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a guy. Are you looking for trouble, mister? Job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh my god, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! Just leave me alone! Who the hell are you? Let's go! What's this got to do with you? Sims uh. lying to you, mister! You just wait till I get loose, mister. You get the smelly in. <laughs> Who do you think you are, mister? Come! We'll split it between us, just me and you. Whoa! Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisting little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah! Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide man's ah. flesh. Ain't ah. never cut into a live ah. one before. <laughs> Odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on, we can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! 
Hurry up! I need to go find that map! lost his mind a long time ago. Hello. Hello there. Go speak to that fella. Let's get this the over with. Believes miracles take place in repentance. Can I pay my fine? Now perhaps I can be left alone. Hurry Master. up, will you? Oh, you we got more important down. business to attend to. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. Faster! Take a look at you. Will you take a look at you? You look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you say. Cold, tough, but with a heart of gold. The cowboy sings his lonely song like... Like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my ma felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But, uh, please, don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the West for a monthly back East. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm going to find, too. <laughs> Wild men, cheap women, you know, Guns, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. <laughs> Place in mind, mister. Take me to Ridgewood Farm. Better get some good out, mister. I'm just gonna have a rest. Mr. Marston, how are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, 
it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy, your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull, feeding to the vultures myself. Ah, uh, uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <clears throat> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <clears throat> is money. Money? <clears throat> what are you talking about? Oh, oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. <clears throat> and... I need some danger money. So, uh, let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Oh, no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> But come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> now, sir, do that tooth breach. <laughs> Seth is an interesting fellow, is he not? I wouldn't say interesting. More deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. I have a soft spot for life's flotsam and jetsam. In connection with him more like, you and Seth have a lot in common. You both rob people for one. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. Oh, my dear boy, nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk who's mended his ways. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. A Robin Hood with spurs. Oh, romantic. You expect me to believe that poppycock? Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me.
overcomers this here's a fair race. Keep to your manners and let the fester cart pass. So now that's been said, y'all can get to running each other off the road like always. All right now, counting to three. Ready? Set, go! care of this cart for Mr. Wes Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we be a hasty retreat. Right. Best remove ourselves from the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Fine by me. Wasn't that fantastic? The cheers of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels. The fallen rocks, the homicidal maniacs. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take the racing very seriously in these parts, and your participation was not entirely pre-approved. That was clear. Ah, sports, war, and heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I'd get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish? Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. <laughs> Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better?
I lost your damn mind? What the safe doing out here? Mister, these fellers robbed a bank in Armadillo. I've been tracking them ever since. I'm a bit outnumbered. Would you mind lending your gun?
right back. I never thought I'd see that again. I cannot thank you enough, sir. Dear sir, hello. There you go. Business is what keeps this country great. We have to get them people off that land.
Might as well. Mister, they're about to hang my buddy and he ain't done nothing wrong. You gotta help. Go on. Let's go. Mr. Marston, sir, John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, 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 so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> You read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies! Gentlemen, gather round, gather round. My friends, are you ready to change your lives forever? I have something truly extraordinary to show you today. A medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of scientific research. Friends, 
hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, Broad. 12 weeks. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I nah. say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Somebody get that thing back! Saint Homobonus has not been looking down on you favorably. Who? Homobonus, the patron saint of business. I'd say he's doing you for just a service. Poppy Pop. Those inmates were clearly informed of my refund policy. You can only shit off this for so long before they decide it's their turn to pull down the pan. A crude metaphor in every sense of the word, my dear boy. You leave the business to me, do I try to tell you how to rob banks? Robbing banks felt more honest than this. Well, Sean, respect science!
We're almost there! My dear boy, you saved the day again. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Uh, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. I bet you can't beat Ira Shelton in shooting. I'll bet you money. Sure. I always enjoy putting a man in his place.
get your life worth living! Can I have this?
Sorry about this, partner. Mr. West Dickens. Ah, Mr. Marston. How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. Uh, you, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Follow me, John. It's not too far to Rathskeller Fork. Come on. So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered, hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, uh, before knowledge comes doubt, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightful and Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. It's it's crazy, old you man. Trigger, don't you? Hey, you seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. Ah, uh, seeing a lame woman walk again. That's all the pay I need. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Ridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Reach, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, 
Cliff pushing, Rock throwing, Cactus grinding, Neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight, or bleed heavily, or black out. Get yourselves ready, set, go! Oh, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Your help. 
You and every other fool around here. No, they took her. They took my love. They stole Jeff's heart, and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking they about, took, friend? They took my love. They took Jeff's loves by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? <sighs> I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. Have a soul. <laughs> <laughs> What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I've seen him at Raskeller Fort. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Lawman shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave themselves medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy. Short black hair. Mustache. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. <sighs> Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gone made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come on then. All right, follow me. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face, mister. I bet you thought you was being a real hero. here strike me as being kind of funny. But Jeb, he's a special type of funny, I'd say. I'm inclined to agree with you, miss. <laughs> he got you good, mister. I'm glad you find it so amusing. Are you speaking to that horse? <laughs> well, Jeb sees something in her, doesn't he? You think he's gonna have flowers waiting for her? There's some things I'd rather not think about. Mister, I gotta thank you. I'm gonna remember this one for a long time.
Mister! Mister, you found her, mister! Oh, I found her, all right. Come here, girl. Come to daddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm so strong, yet such a lady. I long to hold you. I missed you so much. You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs> Interesting. Much obliged. Well, look at you. Right. Let's see it. Give me a card. Howdy. I knew it. I'll stay, mister. didn't work. That's more now like look it. look at you. Brand me like a steer. That's it. Down. Hello. Stick. Howdy. Hello How are you there. doing? A man like you needs a woman like you. Thank you. Reckon I'll stay. Paper said cholera is something fierce. You don't say. Hit me. Stay. Leave the life out of you, boy. I wish I could, but I'm married. Hmm. All right. Trash. Give me a card. Hit me right quick. Hit. Hit me. A card, sir. You want a good time? He's right here. I don't think that's. I'm gonna stay on this. I'll stay, mister. Are you lonely? That's what I like to see. My kind of player. Damn! Stay. Let's go. Hit me. Can I double down? Do you do your own laundry as well? You lucky. Yeah, you two got some time with me. Well, I'm the queen of England. How do you do? Howdy. Ain't you got no more Why don't you need to be attended to? Hello. 
Interesting. You gonna poke me with your peacemaker, boy? I don't think my dear doing? wife would appreciate. Well, hello there. You want to spend some time with me? Double down from me. Don't take my card now. Do you piss sitting down? I don't believe. Let's clean this dealer out. Ran me like a steer any time. Oh. I'll stay, mister. Hello. Hit me right quick. Let's double down. Good call. Let's split. <laughs> Give me a card. I'll leave it there. Hello. Double down. Lady Luck must be sweet on you, Addy, partner. Addy. That one's mine. Howdy. Hmm. All right. You want a good time? He's right here. A man like you needs a woman like me. I'm gonna stay on this. Hmm. This should be fun. Hit me. Howdy. You got some luck, Hello? mister. Live a little. Howdy. Howdy. I think I'll have to double down. Give me a card, sir. Stay. Howdy. Thank you all very much. That's more like it. And they Hello say there. gambling don't pay. Got a good blackjack game here. Wanna join in?
this. Watch your step. Here you go. Do what you want with it. That's the spirit that made this country great, Park. He'll taste some armadillo justice for sure. bringing more pilgrims out here, we'll be outnumbered. I can assure you that paper notes are as good as gold. You know, they're planning on building a rail junction up ways. Where do you have your wings and halo hidden? I keep foreign and Jewish made goods out of my store. Help our American families. A fine choice. Just show me what you got. Anything else I can do for you? on safety. The marshal ain't no man in my eyes. I'm thinking that we're mutually beneficial. Greetings. That's all I need for now. You messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving mechanic. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Here, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? <laughs> Fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here. This paddy bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy -o? The bloody cavalry? voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. This ain't nothing to do with you. I'm getting good at this. A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. 
think since I just saved your life. Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Let's get this over with. The saloon's calling me. Mount up, will you, before I change my mind. It's too far to walk. Mount up, fella. Come on, then. Let's find this guy. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. We could see it ever since, and that right there was the... Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a well, he called for me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who would steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And ask for that strike slot. He didn't sound very French. Well, he sure speaks English, funny. Not for now. The team and bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. What the hell do you want? Turn back now. It's not here. That lion sack of shit!
Now perhaps I can walk the streets without being annoyed by the law. Hello there. What brings a fine specimen like yourself to my humble establishment? Establishment? This place looks like a schoolhouse. Such limited thinking. Have you not seen the future, my friend? We make dreams! Are you not a devotee of the cinematic arts? Arts is what you call it? Granted, I only have a poor imitation of the true Nickelodeon. That is why I am to build my new film studio and make New Austin with its cheap land and fine climate the second center for the motion picture industry. Hell, a couple good years now we'll be here. I'll produce adventure stories, as well as melodramas for the ladies, and even some fantastical shorts for children, young and old. Heard there's an old ranch ripe for exploitation just north of here. Apparently the owner is a frequent lover and loser at the liar's dice tables over at Thieves Landing. If you could do me the favor to wrest control from him, I'd reward you quite highly. A career in the arts awaits. I'll see what I can do. Not much of a high-stakes gambler, and movies seem like drivel. Drivel? No, sir. We speak to a man's soul. Listen, if you run into a chap named Spatchcock, tell him to get back to work. Who? Spatchcock. Trained as the finest gunslinger and hero in motion picture history. Then the fool began to believe it was for real. And now he's run off to become a gunslinger, for real. Heard he's in Benedict Point. Fool will have himself killed if you don't help. If I see him, I'll tell him. A producer credit awaits, sir. Chop, chop, off you go then. Set. Hey, John. Hey, partner. Get what you need? You ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... Realized you were sick in the head? 
Think you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. But Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. I, 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 you got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even gonna wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? <sighs> I'm going to take him back to a nice, quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. I think we should be getting out of here, partner. All right. I know a secluded spot where we can search these sleeping beauties. To the left! We don't want to roll through town with these bodies! Where are you? Come on, don't be shy! What did you say? I didn't say nothing! Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> They ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth, calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. They're coming after us! Get us out of here! I'm gonna look for the map back here. You try to shake those damn rednecks! Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Well, look at this. Some elixir. No point weighing down the wagon now, is there? Ooh! <laughs> I got fits falling off of this one. Woo! Somebody needs a new cologne. No need for money where you're going, friend. All done with this one. Are you hiding something from Seth? Oh, you got a little whore! See? You're one big happy thing. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Go left here, partner! You're stiff as a whore. Relax. I just want a little whoopsie. Just going on a little trip. Oh, a bottle of elixir. Thank you, my friend. Make a left! Keep in touch, old pal! This will all be over soon. God damn it! We're burning! Oh, you better... I think I got it out. Yes! Here it is! I've got the map, mister! I got it! I got it! Looks like the treasure's in Tumbleweed! That's where I was headed! It's fate! Keep going! We're almost there! Where's my map? Come on, whisper to me. I'm gonna be wreaked beyond my wildest dreams. Maybe then you can take a bath. Thanks, mister. I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. 
After I find my treasure, mister. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, <laughs> the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. Oh. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> OK. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. Partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. We're in luck. Sneaky sons of bitches! 
This ain't nice. I know. Don't make me kill you! This can't be happening! You got some gold zigs on you, then whip them out! of this very long, long tunnel. <laughs> Seth's gonna be rich after all these years. <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> what the goddamn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Those stupid liars. Those stupid chicken shit maps. Make it a damn fool of me. A glass eye! <laughs> it's a glass eye! Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready.
mighty fine car set you got there, young lady. I thought you let fled concrete. Irish honey. Tied him. Where are you? Oh, I, who do you want? I, I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Oh. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found you one. Ah. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. It gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Not a fella to give up easily, are you? You're not going to pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right as rain. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between air and Medlin. Well, you're going to be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. My intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life, and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and darkness, and it starts playing with your mind. Come on, Johnny. We need to get to that mine. Listen, fella, either we ride together or we don't ride at all. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. And Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. Whoa, you're trespassing. State your business or move along. This is mighty generous of you, mister.
bet if you could shoot straight. Excuse me, mister. I'd be looking at your corpse being hauled up this lift. Load up and I'll engage the gears. There she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down. Don't let go of her. She's a beast. now and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to old west dickens just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way
saved us doing our job, and we thank you for it. Just doing my bit for society, fellas. Yeah! I didn't ask for that school teacher. Keep your eyes Not open, mister. Am I wearing a target or something? And how was my rifle back from the pawn shop? You there? Play poker? Me, sweetheart. I'll give you the time of your life. Uh, I, no problem if I just. <clears throat> Excuse me, mister. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Look. Don't ask how, but I know what you're about to do. You don't want to do this. The hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, mister. I'm just here to say I don't think you should go through with it. Your wife, she loves you. Oh, shit, mister. I don't know who or what you are, but I guess I'm grateful. I guess you're right. I was raised better than this. Don't mention it. Go on now. Damn point. I can't fall into scattering some sort of militia. Ain't it always the way? I'm in, gentlemen. I don't give a toss about that. How are you doing? He's a big Hello. I heard that old gentleman's got a right curse on the war. Ain't sure that the truth? truth. Marshal Johnson. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. Here, Any up. All bid. I hey. hear the government's gonna step in and take over hmm. Thieves Landing. Ain't now, it are always you full the of way? Shit, I wonder. It's true as my mother's virtue. Much obliged. God be with you. That Drew McFarlane's been causing trouble again. Howdy. Like that can't be right. Another wagon got robbed in Mescalero yesterday. Yeah! Scandalo. You're on your way out, amigo. Oh. Hi there. Hola. 
I don't know about you. Big shipment coming in tonight. Big I'll make a shipment. bid. Ain't that the truth? You bet. Hey there. How do you do? Hello there. Hello. I heard them rustles from Pike to Bay when we're heading in. Good bid. Spot on. How you doing? Hey! You get this done. Stillwater Creek. Do me some fishing. Ain't it always the way? I'm gonna bid. Whoa. I swear. Oh, John, Madam Wife, well, Out of line like a Belgian whore. How you doing? A man like you needs Much a woman blind. like me. Damn! You a born liar. That's the seal. Yeah! Why are you sweating? Hey! I'm gonna get out of these landing. Get myself a nice log cabin. Ain't that the truth? How are you? You want to spend some time with me? Right. My bed. <laughs> You're a wily one, all right. Look at my face. You know it's true. Hmm. Hello there. I smell bullshit. Bluff. Yeah! Ah, it's been a while. Well, brand me like a fucking Hello. steer. I heard that Oriental whore's got a snatch box oh. like red velvet. Hey! Ain't hey, it hello. always the way? All right. Let's see. How you doing? Good call. I say spot on. Hello there. You think you can teach me some lessons, mister? Yeah! I ain't buried yet. Only a pretty strong man would come along to protect little old me. I hear the government's gonna step in and take over Thieves' Land. Well, ain't that the truth? Think I'll make a bid. Hmm. Now, are you full of shit, I wonder? Howdy. That didn't go well for you. the truth. Hey, when I get my money, I'm going to get two you bottles of whiskey. Ain't it always my bed. way? Real tired. You bet. You know that old time and shit himself again? Oh, no <laughs> I know a lot when I see one. Hello there. There goes another die. I heard them rustles from Pike to Bay when we're heading in. Stuff happens. I don't know about you. You think you could teach me some lessons, mister? I hear McFarlane is gathering some sort of militia. Ain't that the truth? If only a big, strong man would come along to protect do? little old me. Up on your Madam Wazelle. Oh, I'll bid. Eyes, partner. A big man like you could do whatever now that's you like a liar. to a girl like me. How'd you do? Yeah! Hi. That's the seal. I'll make a bid. 
Yeah. Mistrustful yeah. son of a bitch, ain't you? I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, I'm gonna get myself a nice log cabin. Ain't it all way to the Hey! Damn! You a born liar! How do you do? Interesting. I wonder. How'd you do? You can't be serious. Oh, hell. Oh. Ah, it's been a while. Yeah, I believe Nate John was a stream like me, little governor. You got a <laughs> leaky mouth. You're a whining one, one all right. Yeah. Good call. I say spot on. I heard another train Hello, got there. Hello, on me. I thought you were a better liar than Mexico. This. Changed his name and became a bean farmer. Stuff happened. I'm gonna take me a coach to armadillo and get me right. a 300 pound boar. Ain't that the truth? All right. Any pains today? Let's see. You're bluffing. You lie so good, probably cheating too. It's all in the eyes, friends. How'd you do? Hello. Fancy around the liar's dash? I gotta get going. Goodbye. Until we meet again. I heard that Oreo horn's got a snack box. Let's see how fast a girl like you draws iron. How about your I'll lip? I'll shut that mouth of yours for good.
My very Howdy, tune. mister. Seems to me you're a fine leather slapper, mister. Come to the right place. Well, then, well, I might be looking for I don't know how you get away with these prices, mister. Let you do it.
up, sister. Put them up. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, good. Blimey. But I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there. Oh, oh. oh Mr. Marston. How are you? Ashamed. Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gatlin gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find the, the parts for you. Ah. Mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? You don't know my wife, miss. Are you coming or not? Shut up, you lazy drunk, before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking, defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. Hey, You've robbed awesome. just as many innocent Yo, folks as me. I tried to only hey, rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, Brand, the church has more money than anybody. Where are we going, Irish? Just to the warehouse here in Steve's Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office, hobble tongued fella by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I know it's about guns front, back, and sideways. All right, we're here. Stay close. <sighs> Damn it. That stuttering bastard said this would be open. Come on, let's see if we can get in around the back. I'm beginning to lose my patience. And starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drips. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. All right, we should be able to get in here. Stick with me and keep quiet. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh. Oh, Who are you working with? I, I, I'll know. Oh, shite. Brilliant. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got oh. himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> Oh! Uh, labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an all-time high. 
You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Again! <laughs> I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. Thank you for your kindness, Mister. I th 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 thought I, w I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. It's gonna be one, one, one hell of a fight. All right, l l let's get out of here while we got, got the chance. Oh my God.
Don't think you'll be needing this. Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you d d d dirty f f f f fucking snake. Uh, b -b 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking. Fuck. Oh, my virgin ears. Come on, then, Johnny boy. Let's go. This is a bad place to be idling, fella. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Sir, 
Hello. I'm sure you'll find something you like here. Thanks for the visit. I was talking to some Blackwater fellow last night. Seemed kind of snooty. That's enough, friend. You know where we are next time you need something. Have a good look. Hello there. Well, hello there. Some good folk left around here.
called Spatchcock? Well, who's asking? Who do you think is asking? Listen, partner. You stay cool, or I'll cool you down by putting a hole in you. You been practicing that line all week, fool? Don't make me come over there and teach you a lesson. Man, I hope you shoot better than you act tough. That fool really will lose some money. Now get up and fight! to work then. I see another sentient bean out here. Name's Sam. Sam Odessa. Anyway, that's the name they gave my grandpappy when he came across New York City. Good to meet you, Sam Odessa. I'm John Marston. You long way from home? Where you come from? Yeah, yeah, it would be if I had a home to come from. Been out here for 
Several weeks or several generations, I guess. Would have made better time, but my horse came up lame a ways back. Trying to get to California. See the ocean. I hear it's wet. From the Black Sea to the Pacific in three generations. I'm gonna make something of myself there. I'm gonna find something. Here they got a fine line of earthquakes out there. Maybe you can find one of them. <laughs> Listen, Gap Tooth ain't so friendly to strangers. I suggest you head back to Benedict Point before you run afoul one of these gangs that runs out of here. Well, thank you very much for the kind advice, Mr. Marston. I appreciate it. Let me I'll go get me on a coach. Them bastards and gab tooth breeds got my friend, Floyd. Please, mister, you gotta help him. I'm in a bad way. I gotta get to a doctor. We was in the rail house when they jumped us. Maybe he's still around there.
Jimmy, <laughs> I didn't know you were a miner. I'm not, sport. This is the first time that I've ever been underground. But I like getting a preview of being buried. It should be fun, but not funny, what? Your eastern wit is wasted on my dumb western brain, sport. Oh, don't worry, you're not missing much. I'm beginning to think that this article will be better written on a tropical island in the arms of a beautiful maiden. Interesting idea. Now, can we get out of here? Yes, please.
out of this mess. I'll make it worth your while. I'm truly indebted to you, partner, but don't you worry, because I've got a way to repay that debt. Sons of bitches are hiding treasure in those caves. My friend and I was about to swipe it when they got me. Don't know where he got to. Anyways, if you get us to the mouth of the cave, I can show you where it is on your map. treasure's at. You get me there and you get your share. You have my word. You want to try that again? Come on, shake a leg. Troubles. I'm a man of my word.
Yep, we got the finest selection in the frontier. I won't sell armaments to them thugs, whatever the profits may be. No good piece of dirt. Thank you. 
Seat. We need another poker player. I guess I accept your challenge. Why are these cards sticky? Set to arrive tomorrow. You look like you haven't been pumped for quite a while. Herbert Moon! I've just been robbed! You gotta stop him! Ah, uh, there.
don't do so good when I can't move free. Come on. Your name is not written in the book of life. You are captain. Thought you might want to deal with this fella yourself. That's the spirit that made this country great, Par. He'll taste some armadillo justice for sure. I've never lost a single piece of merchandise. No Pilato employees is why. I need to write my mother back in the home. Careful! Yes. Uh, you won't yeah, regret it. <laughs> Things will only get worse around here if that Nate Johns. I guess I accept him. your challenge. That's the least of it. See a hand? A couple of hands couldn't hurt. I'm sorry, pal. Myself a woman, miss. Oh. Hey, partner. Oh, 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 you oh, 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 What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I've had about enough of you. Oh. That dang idiot! Thunder! <laughs> For Christ's sake! Jeez! That's how you do it! Farewell! That's it! Your teeth need more food! Hello. Hello. Uh, Scum sucking buzzards. Care to join us? That's mighty you kind of. Cash, right? And suddenly everything changes. Get off the pot already! <laughs> 
I call. All right. I see. I'm gonna check. I'm going to raise that. Think I'm going to call. It's no fun if you don't ever bet. No, thanks. Shit. Are we going to be men about this? Call. Cagey, ain't you? Stay away from okay, then. I'll place a bet. I'm in. Let's see what we got here. I see you want to play. Like I'll have to call it a day. I'll join you for a while. I'll call. Boring. Count me in. Think I'll check. Why don't we raise the stakes a little? Bet. You're joking. All right, fellas.
Go, be on your way. Another adventure awaits you, I'm sure. Good luck. I trust the dice played in your favor. Sir, manners. Come on. Open, mister. Great. Unless you want to start working you care to see, see one up. your lady? Really? Here we go. I'm calling. Okay, let's do this. That's more like it. Make sure you deal from the top. I call. Sure, I'll bet. I'm gonna check. All right, I see. We got ourselves a tough guy. I think I'm gonna call. Well played, sir. Hello. You only live once, right? Gamble. Let's up it a bit, shall we? Ain't you a brave one? Now, 
here's something you don't see every day. Uh, you scared or something? Looks like you might have me on this one. I'll check. Thought I had that one in the bag. All right, fellas. I'm gonna call it. Seems like you was weaned too soon. Okay, I'll place a bet. Come on, deal clean. I know your game. Check, you're in. Good. Call you. I'm all in for this one. What do you know? I just ain't getting the cards. I check. I'm in. I'll raise you. I'm going to raise that. Get ready to give me all your chips. You've cleared me out. Right. This is the one. Call. Hell with this. I fold. I guess you never know what you know, you're gonna Johns get. You know, John's is elected governor. He's going Think to I'll open check. the rail lines to Allende. Sounds good to me. Come on, stop. It's no fun if you don't ever bet. I'll raise you. I'm done. Sanchez, Alinde, DeSanta, Reyes. Cagey, all ain't the you? same. They just want armadillo rail rights. Really? No, thanks. No, I'm out. I'll call that. Hell, I'll take that. Sure, I'll bet. All righty, boys. Why don't we raise the stakes a little? I'm gonna buy a new iron with these winnings. I'm in this one. All right, I see. Hola. You can make good money for both meat or 
Sure, I'll gamble. I'll call. I'll check. I see you want to play. You're joking. I call. Check. Bet. Oh, come on. Best of luck to you. I'm calling. Your choice, my friend. I'm going to check. And suddenly, everything changes. Well played, sir. Enough for me. I'm going to call it. Okay, I'll place a bet. I check. Hmm. Thought I had that one in the back. Call you. I'm in. I think I'll raise. Here we go. Think I'm going to call. Ain't you aggressive, partner? Interesting.
I'll check. Sure. How about I make things interesting? Okay, let's do this. I'll raise you. from the top. got ourselves a tough guy and I'll raise you it's no fun if you don't ever bet may the work Already? Young liquor. Are we going to be men about this? Okay, then, I'll place a bet. You ain't much fun. I'm gonna raise that. No thanks. Fair enough. I'll call that. Cagey, ain't you? Damn. Count me in. Give me a real. I'm 
I know your game. Let's up it a bit, shall we? Sure, I'll bet. Why don't we raise the stakes a little? All right, I see. Sure, I'll gamble. No funny game. I'll check. You can't win them all. I'll call. Someone's feeling the pressure. Come on. Bet. I call. Check. I this crab apple twenty. You're joking. I'm going to check. Always know when to walk away.
Excuse me, mister. Where did the wife, really, buddy? Sir. You shouldn't say such things in public. Don't mind me, officer. Take me to Ridgewood Farm. Hold your sleep. I don't want to talk to anybody. You mind if I take a nap?
Sam. Sam Odessa. You still out here? How's it going? Hey, hey, uh, Mr. Mr. Manchin, isn't it? Yeah. How you doing? Let's see. Manchin. <laughs> I kind of like that. You all right out here? W yeah. <laughs> you ain't too much closer to California. Yeah, I, I found out the coach it wasn't so much to my liking. It was, it was a little bit slow, a little bit predictable. I, I touch mundane, but, th but these... These cacti are, are, are quite palatable. I hope they are. Hey, listen. You need to find yourself a horse if you're gonna head west from yeah, here. A, a horse is, is, a, is a very noble creature. Do you, you ever hear the, the tale of the, uh, the horse who could, who, you know, could do sums better than any school child? I think I missed that one. See, if I could just, if I could have a trusty steed like that who could take me to the, to the shining... Uh, see. Ah, oh, Sam, listen. California's in the west. Just follow the setting sun. It ain't that complicated. All right? You take care of yourself. Setting sun. Don't you worry about me. I'll get there in my own sweet time.
me, friend. You or me. Oh, my lord! Let's go!
John? Marshal? Gentlemen! <clears throat> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Esconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go! All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. Now I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. My good men, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you 
I could teach you to fly. <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> And uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs>
Sucking some bitches escape the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. All right, boys, let's finish this. I think my 
my work here is done. Godspeed, gentlemen. I bid you farewell. Where's Williamson? You ain't outlawed. You're an idiot. That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! Gentlemen, let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Oh, what Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good lord above. There must be a hundred of them. Here we go. Everywhere. Oh, hold on! Oh, hold on, I've Marston. missed it. Mr. Marston, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? Some place near Chuparosa, I think he said. <laughs> yes, bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa. Well, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough.
That's the flower. Thanks, sport. You are a true American hero. Right. What are you doing down here? Well, I just thought I'd see a little bit of the local color, you know? But these gentlemen have seen to it that I've enjoyed the true hospitality of the frontier. Hey, uh, cigar? Let's get out of here. Right. having that.
good, friend. You win. Looks like I won. Come on! There must be someone around.
Sam, we meet again. How you doing out here? Why the shouting? Why the dancing? Why the laughter? I, I hope I, I die laughing, I do. You keep this up and you just might. My, my, my grandfather was, was a wise man who came from the east. He, he, he followed, a, followed a star. That, that's still me. I'm still following, still dreaming, still free. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't cage us. We are above. We, we, we are above. And, and, and we're free. Sam, you really need to come into town with me. You're not doing so well out no, here. No, no, no. See, I was careless, sir. I, I understand that now, but I, I, I will. I will find me my paradise. I will head west. I will. Come on, Sam. You probably just need a drink. You, you stay whoa, away whoa. from me. You whoa. stay away. I will find me my California. I, I, I will.
mister. Heard of Norman Deke? He's one mean son bitch. He runs with the Williamson gang. Or rather, I should say, he ran with Bill Williamson. He ain't gonna be running with no one no more. Does this story have titties in it? I want titties. Turns out there was a shootout in old Mercer Station between some of Williamson's gang and the <coughs> marshal from Armadillo. That prick Deke only went and got himself arrested. Ha, not long till they hang him, I reckon. Oh, talk. Do enjoy a little tail when I'm sitting around the fire. That's quite some story, friend. Bye now. <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. <laughs> Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man, Williamson, no bother. I hope so. Hey! Come on, now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No. 
but not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? You know me, oh, um, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. Uh, the same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. Shite, somebody doesn't like it. Cut the rope, Irish. We're sitting ducks here. For the love of God! They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. This is 
is the fourth time your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. Oh, the big brown eyes turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a butter and pepper, too. What, that pork is? <laughs> now, there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellers trying to kill you. Down here, they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me skeletal cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? You'll remember any of it, Irish. There's a beach coming up on the left. Hang on, we'll be on dry land soon. God damn it, there's another two. We made it, thank the Lord. Am I glad to be getting out of that floating death trap? <laughs> These horses look fresher. <laughs> healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man, 
a drink with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. He was, uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three-card stud with him. Uh, or was it four-card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. Famed hospitality isn't what it once was, and I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man, but not a bad one.
They're delivering provisions to the market. You steal one of the wagons, I give you good money. All right, you best be ready to pay up. Yeah. Here is your money.
nothing, señor. Just get on the caballo y domesticalo. ¿Estás listo, amigo? Are you ready? Stay calm! Don't no take off now. Relax now. Come on. Come on. Nearly got you. Con el otro. No te rompas, pendejo, la dejé en la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chingan a su madre. ¿Qué? ¿Y qué no, nos ¡Cállese, mejor? güey! Y de aquí para acá, son pendejos. ¡Eh, hey, gringo! ¿Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero. Yo hablo un solo poquito español. <laughs> poquito. ¿Habla inglés? Oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> ¿Comprende, amigo? ¿Comprende? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, Gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. Very <laughs> big. I, too, have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> Can I see the boots, Gringo? I think you can see him from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things, most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful.
Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a... With Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really is. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come well, on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now that's a real gun. so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. The birds around here are always raising hell. Scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Tuberosa. Ain't we gonna spook the town folk with all this shooting? This is from the man who walked in here earlier and gunned down three bandits in the middle of the street? No, don't worry. The people here know me and love me. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Por favor, senor! Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less 
theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Come on, these people need me. ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their head. What would you do if somebody took the people you... ...you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked. I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. There they are. Follow me. Touch, Landon. Nobody said I had. You talk real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a Landon Rickon partner, young, old, or otherwise. All those stories you heard as a boy were true, you know. Dios mío, Mr. Ricketts. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. <laughs> 